say good morning. Yeah. Hi, so we're in Denver right now. Um, I definitely am trying to just kind of vlog and show what we're doing this week since I'm not home and not able to do my regular projects. I thought it would be fun to just keep you guys updated while we're traveling, especially since it's such a weird time to be traveling right now. Um, so we're up early this morning because there's a two hour time difference. I think it's like seven here right now, so it'd be like nine at home. So it's really early here, but it feels kind of late for us. And it's like the perfect time for us to go and get a little workout in this morning. So we're gonna put Miles in the stroller and we're gonna go check out a local park and just do a little workout get moving since we were on the plane all day yesterday. What do you think? I thought that was a dumb idea. <laughs> this is pretty good, once we got past 50. Right? The last 10 were the worst. Yeah, but the first 50 was a warm up. Just remind me to take my shoes off. Did you step in poop? I just stepped in poop. <laughs> Another day, another latte. Just as good as the one yesterday, too. This one's sweeter, but it's, it is good. I have to show you guys what I'm wearing today because I just think it's so cute. I got this little jumper online. I don't know if it's still available, but I'll I'll link if it is because it's it's just really cute and really flattering on all body types. And then I got my Gigi Pip hat, which is a must-have, especially if it's windy, because it's a little chin strap, so I can't lose it which is hilarious. We're showered, we're ready to go, and we're driving up to... What? Snacks? <laughs> Evergreen. Evergreen, which is west of Denver? West of Denver, about 30, 40 minutes. Yeah, Sam's grandmother lives up there. It's beautiful. We're gonna see her. We're gonna hopefully walk past um, his house that he lived in when he was a baby, where he proposed to me years ago now three years ago um, so yeah we're excited it's gonna be a good day This is the spot where I proposed to Megan at, in front of the house that my parents built uh, probably 40 years ago. There's not much to see, but it's very special to us. I feel like as soon as I cross this threshold of road here, that my, this is where my life changed forever. <laughs> you just don't remember anything past this. <laughs> No, I do. I remember everything past this, just oh. not before. What trying to forget all of the before. A, he he's trying to fall asleep back there. <laughs> <laughs> he's missed his nap, basically, so he's trying to make up for it back there. Kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, that's what it seems like. Mm -hmm. Kevin's gonna pay me $600. Mm -hmm. More dollars. I don't think so. Yeah. We're on our way to Boulder, which is, have you been to Boulder? Yeah. Okay, I've never been, I and mean, you said it's like 40 minutes away? I think about 40, yeah. So we're just gonna kind of just check it out. There's no plan. I will say that like traveling right now is, it's fine, but there's definitely a lot, not a lot of places open and we've had to kind of work around that. You can't just go into a restaurant and eat. So hopefully there's some places in Boulder to eat outside.
last minute split decision to visit Estes Park and the Stanley Hotel, thanks to an Instagram friend who suggested it. How did you say it? Estes. Estes. Not Estes. Estes Park. garden inside of this antique wheelbarrow. That is so pretty. I feel like I can make that. So we're back home after a pretty long day. I had high expectations of vlogging for like the whole week, but I just don't think that's gonna happen. I'm not sure you guys would be that interested in what I would have to show you anyway. There's just not a lot open. Just things are kind of weird with COVID and just this morning waiting to get coffee was such a different experience than normal. Like there, there's no just going in somewhere and getting a coffee and sitting down and drinking it. So I don't think I'm going to continue to vlog too much, but we will spend the rest of the week with family and just enjoy the time that we have here in Denver even though it's not quite what we hoped and expected. I did want to show you guys this super cute mask that I got. I haven't bought a mask because I didn't like any of them and then I saw this one today. I was wearing like a regular like surgical mask that uh, Sam got me at the hospital but this one is way cuter so I'm super excited about that. Are you done? Thank you. 